It has been a second day in court of playing news coverage on the shooting death of a Tatiana Jefferson by a former police officer. Aaron Dean is charged with murder for shooting and killing Jefferson inside her mother's home in October 2019. Dean's attorney is trying to get his trial delayed and moved out of Tarrant County. Macy Jenkins was in court and she's live with more. Macy. Hi, Heather and Steve. Well, today looked a quite an awful lot like yesterday in Judge Hagerman's courtroom. The defense continued, continued to play additional hours of news coverage and video clips. But nearing the end of the day, lines of questioning from both the prosecution and the defense clearly illuminated what both sides are trying to get the judge to see clearly. Aaron Dean's pre-trial hearing continued on Tuesday. His defense attorneys continuing to play hours of news coverage from local stations in an attempt to prove his trial should be moved out of Tarrant County because of pre-trial publicity. Aaron Dean is charged for the weekend shooting death of Tatiana Jefferson. Dean is charged with the October 2019 shooting death of 28-year-old Tatiana Jefferson. The former Fort Worth police officer was one of two officers who responded to a non-emergency call to the South Fort Worth home of Jefferson's mother from a neighbor who reported the front door had been left open for hours late at night. Body camera video showed Dean did not identify himself as an officer before shouting at Jefferson to show her hands then shooting through a window, killing her as she held a gun. Attorney Lee Merritt represents a Tatiana Jefferson's family and joined them in the courtroom on Tuesday. It's an extremely exhaustive uh, process. He says the family is trying to stay strong while having to relive more than two years of news stories about Jefferson's death. He believes that showing hours and hours of news coverage is not helping the defense prove its point, simply delaying justice for Jefferson. They're trying to prove that the case has been talked about, and of course it has been talked about all over the country, not just in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That point, something the prosecution honed in on when questioning Rebecca Jerome, a legal assistant for lead defense attorney Jim Lane. And you're not aware of how many hits each of these stories ever got in on the Internet or how many viewers they had on television or in the print media, are you? No. Meanwhile, Dean's defense attorneys focused their questions for Jerome on Lane's health problems, arguing he's had little time to properly prepare for trial. End of April, he didn't show up at all. Jerome testified that she noticed Lane's health quickly deteriorating in mid-March. He's very weak. He doesn't have a lot of strength. He's um, using a cane to walk around. Uh, he just looks very tired. He's lost a ton of weight. Merritt cited other high-profile cases, including the trial of former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger, who was convicted of murder for fatally shooting both of Jean in his own apartment in 2018. A judge denied Geiger's request for a change of venue, a decision Merritt expects will be repeated in Dean's case. It has to be a very specific set of circumstances that causes a change. But it's not enough just to have media coverage. It must be misinformation, and they won't be able to prove that. Now, the pre-trial hearing will continue for a third day tomorrow at 9 o'clock. The defense has already said it plans to play more than three additional hours of news coverage.